BYD is a crypto exchange on desktop and mobile where you can spot trade, futures trade, use leverage tokens, and copy the trades of top traders. If you sign up with the link in the description, you get a $300 when you deposit $100. There's hundreds of crypto available on their spot exchange, as well as a free test account so you can practice futures trading without getting wrecked. BYD Fi. Hello everybody, welcome back. We're going to talk about alt season and um, are, we, are we going to get continuation? What's the evidence for it at the moment? I mean, for us, it's been alt season already for the last four or five weeks. We've been you know, using alts with dramatic gains and we want to know if there's going to be continuation for some of these other alts that are lagging. So we did a Patreon live stream last night. We looked at a lot of altcoins and it was pretty apparent that no altcoin is created equal. That's always, that's always been my catchphrase or one of my catchphrases, but... It's, um, it's, it's becoming more evident that that is definitely the case at the moment. So some have really good setups, some don't have that good setups. Um, some have blown up, uh, some are creeping up, and some are pushing resistance and looking to break. So I've got a few examples here um, to, uh, to show you that. Uh, and then we're going to have a look at evidence for continuation of an alt season. Right. So first of all, we all know that some of these alts that we've been trading have gone crazy. One of the first ones we were dealing with last uh, last month, I suppose, now, isn't it? Really, yeah. I mean, it was about four, four or five weeks ago when we presented this as one of the best charts in crypto. Uh, and now look at it. So absolutely tearing it up, super bullish. Uh, basically, from entry points, uh, it's it's more than doubles, about 150%. Not that I obviously held it for that amount of time. I traded it, taking position, uh, taking position down here, exiting here and here. So, yeah, I mean, obviously that is the trader's tool so decent gains all the same but a really good trend that has by far exploded this was a good chart anyway this is the whole point of making that video saying this is why i like this chart it's really good respects its chart and should have a good degree of success and it did then um, next on the list is going to be um uh, XRP, which is also a good chart, and not quite the same as INJ, but it is a good chart, and it does point to further upside, even from this level. I'm not suggesting you buy it at this level, but I'm just saying, you know, it's a good chart that has respected its chart and is more bullish than most. So next on the list is going to be something like Ethereum. Ethereum is now only just generating a golden cross on exponentials, not simples, and it's trending up on its 10 exponential moving average, and it's a bit slow and sluggish, but it's better. Um, it's a better chart than other coins um, and I'll show you some of those in a moment. So this one has already technically broken out uh, and it looks like it wants to trend up to 2000 and then be uh, beyond that we'll probably be looking around these areas roughly around the 2004 to 2500. So that looks like that's where it wants to go. That's its destination at the moment. So next on the list will be something like this, Atom. Uh, and there's loads of altcoins that are similar to this at the moment. So it has trended up and it's moved up to a major resistance, which is also backed up by a 200 simple and exponential. So no golden cross in sight on this one. This is basically a death cross retest at the moment. Um, not broken bullish, not yet. Uh, building a base above these levels um, is going to be good because that's how all of these previous uptrends have started uh, when you basically change the direction and then the trend confirms and continues. So it's lagging behind the rest, but it's beginning to look more like it wants to break out and it will give it a move up to around 10. And then behind something like Atom is going to be something like Algorand, which again has still done a decent move. You know, it moved from 9 to where are we now? You know, peaked around just short of 13 cents. Decent move all the same, but clean, crisp rejection on a 200 exponential moving average. Nothing more than a death cross retest taking place over here. The reason I'm putting this across to you is because things like Ethereum uh, is big enough to move uh, the uh, total market cap of, of, of altcoins, right? And once that starts to move, all of these will break and then together they push. And uh, once you have a concerted effort from all altcoins to basically break these resistances, because that's where we are right now. We're looking at lots of altcoins that have already broken their resistances, are trending up. We're looking at a, a, a variety of other altcoins uh, that have broken their resistances but and only just confirmed an uptrend, including Ethereum, which is a market mover, basically. And then you've got other ones, which are not small coins, but uh, many, many of them that are pushing resistance at the moment. So if there is a move on Ethereum and it allows for the market to, to decide that oh, actually altcoins are okay for now, we can continue with these, then we're going to get breakouts of these resistances. And although we should never buy a resistance, that's kind of mad, especially a death cross retest like we see on something like um, Algorand here. Um, there's, uh, there, if you think of the market as a whole, which is often one of the best ways to do it, 
Um, don't treat the market equally, because this is what I said at the beginning, no altcoin is created, <laughs> created equal, but if you think of the market as a whole, as one giant machine that can move as one, especially if it's determined from um, a perspective from Ethereum rather than Bitcoin, then yeah, we would expect these resistances to break. And what's the best thing about a broken resistance? A big, bold move. A resistance is nothing more than a sell wall. Tons and tons and tons and tons of cells, uh, and then once all those cells have been depleted, it just breaks out and moves on. That's all it is. And from a trader's perspective, you trade until a major resistance. And again, a death cross retest is a major resistance. So there's going to be lots and lots of resistances around here. Again, just using Algo as an example, but there's lots of altcoins doing the same thing. As soon as the cells have dried up, bang, all the way up. And then this instance will be up to 16. And it looks like Atom's doing it right now. Uh, bang, all the way up to like 10, 20. And again, that's just two examples. There's loads of them. We were looking at loads of them last night. So what else can we think about when we talk about alt season? Because obviously we've, we've, we've determined that no altcoin is created equal. Some are really bullish, some are kind of bullish, some are you know, potentially going to break bullish soon. Um, the next thing we'll be looking at will be something like total three. So this is obviously the total market cap excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. And look, it has broken bullish. We've got golden crosses on simple exponentials and a simple moving average. Uh, looks like it wants to confirm today. Money flow index is peaky, so that, that means that we're likely to see choppy, volatility but as far as this it does look like a trend is confirming not only that but we do have a pump signal generated on the Ichimoku cloud as well uh, and that pump signal should take us to the next major area of resistance and again we're talking resistances here remember we talk about resistances breaking and how exciting that can be the next major resistance is only a little bit above where we are right now and again this is excluding ethereum so excluding ethereum next resistance on the total market cap 3 is 5% away from where we are right now we could move up to that resistance we could pull back and then continue with the trend and break out from it. That would be alt season territory, really, because it, look look at the distance between uh, supports and resistances here. Like it, it's it's vast, it's huge, in fact. And if we were to think about the next major resistance, that's going to be another forty six percent away from where we are right now on the total market cap three. That would be huge absolutely huge for altcoins and again really 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 worth looking at the right ones with the best setups because again no altcoin is treated created equal but we are trying to think about the market as a whole about what it's possibly capable of in the short term really if we can break this resistance so that that's that's one of the main things i wanted to put across resistances are being tested right now and if they break they give way to like a huge amount of gains and it would happen very quickly again you know that 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 is hopium but but this is also hopium based on technicals yeah and we're looking at ethereum potentially breaking bullish now and confirming a trend and trending up again not not huge but uh, a relatively decent move um to uh, 2500 so it's not it's not nothing that's uh, that's definitely okay you know we're talking about a move of give or take about 33% you know, 30% for Ethereum. You can only assume that other altcoins with smaller market caps um, will trend with that more aggressively. Yeah? And that's an assumption, obviously, based on obviously being in this market for many, many, many years. You know, and the, the only other thing that's worth you know thinking about is going to be the Bitcoin dominance. Now we've been talking about this uh, on and off for a few weeks, um, trying to spot tops on this. The last at attempt at trying to spot a top was this 50 exponential moving average, which in the past has had a clean rejection from it and gave us the alt season that we saw in 2019. Uh, the uh, the only other one on this monthly was the uh, all time high. Not the old time high, but the most recent local high, which is 73% dominant. Uh, we determined this was a top for a variety of other reasons uh, and was able to deal, deal with this alt season like in the best possible way. Uh, but we we have to see that obviously that exponential moving average was not appropriate. You can only assume that actually there's probably another moving average that could have been more appropriate. Maybe uh, if this is a 50 exponential, maybe a 55 um, exponential moving average could have seen it uh, being relevant. But again, this one was relevant. This time it wasn't. Uh, this time it wasn't. So maybe maybe there is another moving average of more significance. That, that helps there. However, um, it does feel like it wants to uh, get a little bit toppy. The money flow index on here sitting at 60, uh, 76 on a monthly. Um, um, look, I'm I'm okay with the idea of this uh, consolidating. Uh, breaking down is a different story. I don't really feel like it wants to uh, break down. It's, too, it's way too early to say. A breakdown would be below 50% on this occasion because you'd be losing the 200 simple and exponential moving average. So let's not get too overexcited in the short term about a potential breakdown. But since we've lost the Bollinger Band, 
the next potential uh, support is 52 and then below that is basically just below 50 so uh, it does look like continuation in the short term is not unlikely uh, it's probably more likely than not and uh, so alt season if that's what you wanted to call it um, might have continuation so hopefully that has put it into perspective now altcoin is created equal but the market can be treated as one um, we've got a variety of different altcoins with a variety of different setups and uh, hopefully going to be driven with uh, Ethereum's current um, position on the chart, which is one of a breakout effectively and, a, and an uptrend confirmed with a potential 33% move in it. I would assume, again, assumption is it will make an ass out of you and me, but um, I would assume that if Ethereum can do that move of 30%, then some of these altcoins that we like and, and hold you know dear to our hearts will do, you know, double that triple that quadruple that you know because of the market cap scenario right if that has been interesting please let me know if there are altcoins that you feel like there's a, a good setup let me know in the comments in the description and if i have the time and the chart is worthy of speaking of i'll, I'll make a video about it and i definitely will um other than that though i hope you have a nice day and take it easy